Before this, we have learned about ideal gas and macam mana ideal gas to behave melalui empat basic assumptions of kinetic molecular theory of gas and ideal gas, dia akan obey ideal gas law uh, which the equation adalah PV equals to nRT but what if you are the gas yang derhaka, yang tak behave according to four basic assumptions of kinetic molecular theory for ideal gas that is when we call it as real gas okay real gas ni the deviate dia tak ikut ideal gas behavior kerana dia pangkas siap-siap dia uh, macam mana uh, gas to behave ideally so that is what we call it as real gas okay dia tak ideal it's a non-ideal gas and it has the following features okay before this from the four basic assumptions uh, of the kinetic molecular theory for ideal gas, we know that ideal gas tak ada volume, tak ada intermolecular forces of attraction. Tapi real gas, real gas ada volume, okay, and real gas ada intermolecular forces of attraction, okay, um, and uh, real gas dia obey obey the van der Waals equation dia tak obey the PV equals to nRT nanti kita akan belajar pasal van der Waals equation later however real gas dia boleh jadi balik um, ideal gas tetapi at low pressure and high temperature okay real gas akan obey ideal gas behavior at low pressure sebab apa eh Okay, ciri-ciri real gas ni, ciri-ciri real gas, first of all, you need to know the ciri-ciri of real gas. Real gas, dia ada volume and then dia ada intermolecular forces. Okay, ideal gas, dia tiada uh, volume dan juga dia, uh, and then dia tiada juga intermolecular forces. Okay, kenapa at low pressure, real gas boleh jadi ideal gas? Sebab, okay, if let's say you ada container di mana you ada gas particle kan. Lepas tu, you tak tekankan, kalau let's say you ada beaker di mana you ada gas particle. Tetapi bila you apply pressure, kiranya you akan paksa piston ni turun ke bawah kan. So, bila you paksa piston ni turun ke bawah, apa berlaku pada gas particle dia akan jadi rapat-rapat. But that is when at high pressure. Kalau low pressure, kiranya you tak apply apa-apa pressure pun. Okay, dekat tak apa apply apa-apa pressure sangat pun dekat gas particle tersebut. So, you biarkan je piston tu ke atas macam ni. So, that means this is the pressure tu is lowered. So, bila pressure is lowered, you tengok sini eh. Gas particle tu rasa stress tak? Tak rasa stress, dia boleh bergerak free. Okay, so boleh dia bergerak free. And then ada banyak sangat uh, empty spaces. Banyak sangat empty spaces between the gas particles. So at low pressure, there will be no volume. Kenapa no volume? Sebab kita tak mampatkan this gas particles. And no intermolecular forces of attraction. Kenapa in, no intermolecular forces of attraction? Sebab the gas molecules the jauh dengan each other sebab intermolecular forces will only be significant if let's say the molecules rapat-rapat sebab itulah kat low pressure real gas akan behave ideally tetapi uh, ideal gas dia boleh jadi real gas behavior at high pressure sebab kenapa bila high pressure you you press kan um, apa tu this piston dekat uh, gas molecules ni so Gas molecule dia rasa stress and then sebab diorang dah macam rapat-rapat dengan each other. Okay, so bila diorang dah rapat-rapat dengan each other, makanya the volume will slowly become significant. Okay, the volume will slowly become significant and also since that the gas particles ataupun gas molecules here memang rapat-rapat dengan each other, the intermolecular forces pun akan jadi significant. Okay, Intermolecular forces pun akan jadi significant. So, bila volume uh, dengan intermolecular forces jadi, jadi significant, itu adalah real gas punya behavior. Okay. Uh, so, that's why ideal gas becomes real gas at high pressure. 
Okay, so from this graph of PV over RT um, against temperature in Kelvin, we can see that the deviation of real gas from ideal gas behavior. So if you see you're the ideal gas, you think on it. It is constant saja. Walaupun at different temperatures, it's just gonna be constant. Kalau ideal, kalau real gas, nanti jadi dahaka tu yang jadi begini-begini. Okay? Okay, tadi kan Miss ada bagi tahu real gas, dia uh, boleh behave ideally at low pressure, high temperature. Ideal gas pula, dia boleh behave as real gas at high pressure and low temperature. So, apa yang nampak kotak ni ialah real gas hanya kamu akan dapat outcome of real gas bila gas tu dia uh, di apply pressure. Okay, so at high pressure, the volume is going to be significant. Okay, also the intermolecular forces will be significant. And also at low temperature, uh, it's going to be real gas. Kalau let's say ideal gas, kotak hijau ni, this is the characteristic of ideal gas. The gas must be at low pressure. Bila dia dekat low pressure, dia punya volume tiada and also dia punya IMF pun, intermolecular forces of attraction pun tiada. Sebab apa? Kat low pressure, uh, molecule tadi tu jarak-jarak antara satu sama lain. Lepas tu, Uh, the gas will behave ideally at high temperature. Sebab apa? Ikutkan four basic assumptions of kinetic molecular theory of ideal gas. One of the characteristic ialah uh, the average kinetic energy is directly proportional to temperature. So the temperature must be high so the average kinetic energy will be high. Okay? Tapi diorang boleh behave by verse, vice versa if let's say uh, ikutlah according to diorang punya characteristic untuk jadi gas tersebut, okay? So, since real gas, dia tak exhibit ideal gas behavior at um, high pressure and low temperatures sebab real gas hanya ada gas tu if it's ada berada pada high pressure dengan low temperature then the ideal gas equation needs to be adjusted. Why it needs to be adjusted is because the intermolecular forces of attraction dah wujud ataupun dah jadi significant uh, so you need to make a correction on the intermolecular forces and also the molecular volume sebab the volume of the gas will be significant too so these two items yang you kena correct from the ideal gas law equation PV equals to NRT to get the real gas equation the first item yang Miss nak adjust ialah intermolecular forces of attraction between molecules in real gas. So, but in real gas, apparently, intermolecular forces between the molecules tu ada, kan? Okay, so bila intermolecular forces between molecules tu ada, dia akan effect pada pressure. Sebab apa? Okay, first of all, you need to know pressure of gas tu terjadi bila gas tu hits the wall of the container. Bila gas tu dia macam, if let's say you ada container, ada gas particles yang macam ni high pressure lah, at high pressure and then this is the gas particles. Okay, so bila gas particles tu dia langgar je the wall of the container, makanya dia akan exit, dia akan keluarkan pressure. So dari situlah kita dapat tahu pressure of the Uh, molecule. So, bila let's say ada, ada intermolecular forces of attraction, dia akan affect the pressure of the particles ataupun the gas molecule. Sebab apa? Sebabnya um, bila IMF ada je, the uh, molecules akan move slower. Bila molecules sudah move slower, although kita dah mampatkan uh, apa tu, kita dah apply high pressure supaya volume tu jadi signifikan, molecule tu akan uh, duduk dekat-dekat. Tapi yang peliknya ialah molecule tu akan move slower. Uh, sebab apa eh? One of the characteristic of real gas kan temperature kena low. Okay? And also since that the molecules tu, dia move slower, Therefore, dia akan give less impact to the wall. Bila dia give less impact to the wall, that means pressure dia tak akan kuat lah kan. That's why the pressure of the real gas ni actually less than the pressure of ideal gas. Alright, since that IMF wujud dekat real gas, okay, and dia akan menyebabkan pressure of real gas kurang daripada pressure of ideal gas. Therefore, 
the term pressure kena dibetulkan by adding A. A tu apa? A tu adalah constant yang related to the strength of intermolecular forces. Okay. Uh, therefore, uh, the pressure of ideal gas will be equal to pressure of real gas plus kan dengan N squared A over B squared. Uh, actually, this is something that you tak perlu hafal pun sebab this is just halfway from the Van der Waals equation. So, you just kena tahu je. Okay. Um, another adjustment that needs to be made ialah the volume of gas molecule since that real gas ada volume kan. Uh, kita tahu in the ideal gas equation, PV equals to NRT di mana V ni adalah volume of the container. So, kalau let's say you nak tahu volume yang ada dekat molecules yang berada di dalam container tu, it's going to be, uh, kalau you nak kira the effective volume for the gas molecules is equals to the volume of container. So, if let's say you ada container, di dalam tu you ada gas particles kan. Or, kalau let's say real gas, mestilah you apply pressure yang tinggi. So, the molecule tu mampat. Okay. So, anyway, kalau you nak kira effective volume of the gas molecules, it's going to be the volume of the gas molecules. Okay. Ataupun the volume of the container ni kena minuskan dengan volume of the gas molecules. Alright. So, disebabkan uh, space yang occupied by the gas molecules uh, akan cause PVE over RT ni deviate from the predicted value. Sebab apa? Sebab real gas dia dah ada volume. Dia dah boleh, volume tu dah jadi signifikan. So, dia tak, kita tak boleh guna PV equals to NRT. Okay. Therefore, uh, space occupied by the gas molecules has to be taken into consideration. Okay. And the volume occupied by gas molecules uh, must be subtracted from the total volume. Okay, since that real gas ni dia ada volume, therefore you kena correctkan the term volume here. So, the volume occupied the gas molecules now will be equals to NB. Okay, so B ni apa? B ni adalah constant yang digunakan untuk uh, represent volume occupied by the gas molecules. Since that the real gas now dah ada volume, so you need to correct it by this um uh, coefficient B, okay? So, now, the volume effective is going to be equal to volume of container minus NB, okay? You tak perlu hafal pun, you just kena tahu je the reason behind this. Okay, macam mana kita nak tahu real gas equation? So, this is ideal gas equation, okay? It is for those yang uh, gas yang behave ideally okay so what if for real gas real gas since that ada correction on imf and also correction on volume therefore um, this is the two equations yang akan kalau let's say kita masukkan dekat ideal gas equation therefore we will get the real gas equation after the correction. So, this is actually real, full real gas equation or we call it as Van der Waals equation. Okay. So, this is something that you need to hafal. Okay. Kalau yang orang punya adjustment ataupun half equation yang lead to the real gas equation, this two you tak perlu nak hafal sangat lah. This is something that you need to know, hafal and understand. Okay, so the real gas equation is P plus N squared A over V squared kalikan dengan V minus NB equals to NRT. Okay, so this Correction happens sebab ada intermolecular forces and kita dah wakilkan the correction of intermolecular intermolecular forces dengan kehadiran A. Okay. V minus NB. B ni pula, okay, is the correction sebab hadirnya volume pada real gas. So, you just need to know A is a constant that is related to intermolecular forces in real gas. Sebab kenapa? In real gas, you ada intermolecular forces. Okay, and then B 
pula is a constant yang represent the volume since that in real gas you will have volume the volume is significant therefore this is the full real gas equation that is also known as van der Waals equation so real gas they obey van der Waals equation ideal gas they obey ideal gas equation for example okay so ada ni pernah keluar PSTM if I'm not mistaken 2018 or 2017 I don't remember but pernah lah keluar dalam soalan PSPM, dia suruh kamu determine which gas is ideal and which gas deviates from the ideal gas. So, kalau you baca soalan ni, dia kata which gas yang deviates from the ideal gas. That means dia suruh kamu determine siapakah yang ideal gas, siapakah real gas. Okay, so... Uh, if let's say diberi gas helium dan argon and then item A dan B. Ha, A dengan B tu apa? So, do you still remember the Van der Waals equation before this? Okay, from the Van der Waals equation, we know that A ni adalah constant yang akan betulkan IMF. B ni pula adalah constant yang represents the volume. Okay. And then, you kena ada pemahaman pasal ideal gas dengan real gas juga. Okay, kalau ideal gas, you kena tahu ideal gas, dia tiada volume, tiada IMF. Okay, real gas, dia ada volume dan juga ada IMF. Okay, since that, uh, volume adalah constant B IMF adalah constant A so if you look at here helium dia punya IMF significant ke tidak insignificant sebab tengok value of A untuk helium ni 0.00000987 which is we can say that kalau bundarkan pun still kosong Okay, yang B ni pun kalau bundarkan pun still kosong. But then argon, gas argon, you tengok ni. Dia punya value for A dia ada something. Dia significant. 2.134. Significant lah. You bundarkan pun dapat 2. Bukan dapat kosong. Uh, volume of argon ni pun 1.567. Kalau you bundarkan pun dapat 2. Bukan yang dapat kosong macam helium. So, we can say here that ideal gas in this example ialah Gas apa? Gas helium. Okay. And then real gas in this example ialah gas argon. Since that argon gas ni, dia punya intermolecular forces and volume data dia significant. Okay. So I think that's all. Thank you.